Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont, founder of i30 Media Corporation and author of the Lee Media book, blog, and video channel available from leemedia.org. Today I will be talking about using the Shopify mobile app, and this is the Shopify mobile app, to change a description for one of the products that you may have listed. A quick disclaimer, you're responsible for following Shopify's terms and conditions, and it's also possible for you to lose money. Do this at your own risk. Okay, with that out of the way, I want to show you what I want to get done. So. Here I have a product. This is my Shopify store, easygenie.org. And this particular product, um, it has some bullets at the top. You see the first bullet there with the check mark? Made for really big families, one couple, their parents, and up to 24 children and spouses. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of the word really, which is in, up, uh, which is in uh, caps. And also I want to add a little text decoration to some other parts of that description. So let's do this. Go back to the, your Shopify store. This is the home page of the iOS app. I think Android looks pretty similar. What you want is the products tab. And at the bottom of the app, you can see uh, home orders product store. Just tap products. Okay, and now you need to find the product. And I have lots of products. I, ha I think I have something like 20 products on my store. Some people have, you know, some store owners have hundreds. Um, you can look through recently updated products. You can also go to all products at the top there. Tap that and you can scroll through it. And then some people, they just like to search for it. So uh, these are called family group sheets. And let's see if we can find it. Family group. Yeah, so here it is. This is the orange one. So tap that. Now, this is the screen where you can edit your product, everything about your product, really, um, including adding photos and things like that. What we want is the description, which is at the very top. And when you see it, it might have some... First of all, it looks very short. There's only like a sentence, and then it has all this weird uh, code stuff like border 1px solid number CCC. And this is a kind of behind the scenes formatting. I don't know why Shopify shows it, but all you need to do to edit is actually just tap the uh, description field, and then it will bring up the actual description. Now, this may look like it's just showing you what's there, but you can actually edit it just by tapping anywhere in the text here. So I'm gonna tap my thumb right uh, between really and big in the first bullet. Okay. And it's a little bit hard to do that. So one thing I could do is I could just, it says select. I could just tap select and then I could um, cut it. But the other thing I like to do is just put the cursor there. And then on the keyboard, there's a backspace button on the lower right. And I'm just going to tap that a few times and I'm going to get rid of that. Made for big families. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to add some formatting there. So I want to make, I want to underline big. So I'm going to select that word. Let's see if I can do it. Select. You can see it's selected. And uh, if I want to, this is for the iOS. I'm assuming Am uh, Android works similar. I can just kind of drag that over, that little handle over. So I, I, now I've highlighted big families. And you can see right below the text field, there's a bunch of other buttons. One thing I can do is I can create a link that's using the chain icon there. So I could type in a link, like, I don't know what that might be. I hit cancel. Um, the other thing I can do, let's, hello. It's not letting me do it. Okay, here we go. Oops. <laughs> As you can see, working with a, um, a, small, a small app like this, a small screen is hard. So I actually usually do my editing I can't even do it properly. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to select big, and I'm going to mess with that. Okay. So I just showed you the link button. What I want to do is underline it. So there's a couple buttons uh, uh, below the text. There's B, I, and U. B means bold. I means italicized. U means underline. I'm just going to tap the U button. Okay. And you can see it's underlined there. And if I wanted to, I could make other changes too. And you can see that... Um, Previously, I've done, I've done other sorts of text formatting. I actually did that using the desktop version because it's, easy, it's easier to uh, do more detailed types of changes, and I can do it much faster than using my thumbs. Uh, anyways, I've done what I've wanted to do. I, I erased really, and then I underlined big, and I'm going to hit done, tap done. You have to do one more step here. Tap save in the upper right corner. It will give you the the message, the product is saved. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go back to the, my online store. So here's that product. Okay. Now it still shows 
the first bullet still shows made for really big families and the big is not underlined. What you need to do is actually reload the page. So I'm going to reload this page. Okay, let's see if it changed. There it is, made for big underlined families. And then I could do other changes too. Uh, this is Ian Lamont. I'm going to be signing off right now. If you have some time, um, it would be great if you could, first of all, like the video or follow me on YouTube. But you can also see more of my videos and blog posts on leanmedia.org. Um, just go to this page, leanmedia.org, tap the menu icon, and then hit blog or video. This is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.